Hey scholars. So I wanted to talk about imperialism and the significance of white man's burden, the cartoon and poem you're gonna to read today. Now I know you started reading and learning about the scramble for Africa and imperialism last week, but I wanted to give you a definition and explain exactly what imperialism is as you continue learning about imperialism in India also. Now, imperialism is pretty much when a bigger country extends its power and control to try to take advantage of another country, whether it's through political or economic control or gains, right? The word imperialism um, comes from the Latin root word imperium, which means command. So to take command or extend power or control over another country, um, and it's kind of like bullying in a way. Now, there was a meeting, um, a secret meeting, not so secret, but not everyone was invited to this meeting, um, it's called the Berlin Conference. And at the Berlin Conference, 14 of the world's biggest powers sent representatives to meet about Africa's future and fate. This happened in Germany. Um, and I created this visual to kind of show you exactly how this happened, all right? So each country of the 14 met. They divided up Africa's territory and land amongst themselves um, and they claimed that this was for the benefit of Africa, but it was really for their own motives, like their own political or economic motives, whether it was to take Africa's natural resources or to save Africa. And so this is where the white man's burden comes into play because we have a situation where Africans are ignored and are not invited to a meeting about their own land. And then you're saying that you are the, the reason why you want to take over or control parts of Africa is for the gain of the Africans, right? And so as you learn more, you'll notice that pretty much there were very little gains or very little benefits to the Africans, all right? And everyone this meeting had a role to play in Africa's future. Yes, including our country, the United States of America. Now, there are two maps that I want to take a look at, all right? So to the left, there's Africa before colonization or before the Berlin Conference. Notice how many borders there are. Notice all the ethnic borders. Notice all the small little um, areas here that are here in West Africa. There were a lot of tribes who had already <laughs> defined borders way before the Berlin Conference. And we knew this, uh, we talked about this in quarter two when we talked about the West African empires and how they fought, even during the slave trade, um, there was a lot of tribal warfare. And so you can see how problematic this is when European countries come together in a meeting and say, oh, let's draw up a map of Africa, let's create a map, let's take over Africa without inviting Africans, without even recognizing the ethnic groups in the tribal warfare that exists. So this is very problematic. Look at the new map of Africa after the Berlin Conference. This map pretty much divides all the land up to the European countries that were present at the Berlin Conference. Notice which European country has the most land. So you see British pretty much control all of South Africa and they control also parts of Northeast Africa, including Egypt, um, present day Kenya, the West, some West parts of Africa, including Nigeria and Ghana. Um, they have their part, they have the Congo, um, and of course, France has a big share of Arab Africa and North Africa, which includes Morocco, Algeria, and French West Africa. Portuguese has Angola, Mozambique, um, Spanish have their part. Every, almost every single major European power has a piece of Africa. Now, for what you're doing today, I want you to really analyze these cartoons and the poem White Man's Burden because it does really, really shape the thinking and the mindset of a time for imperialism. Like why the US, why European countries wanted to control parts of the world. And they use the civilizing, the spread of Christianity and certain things to justify it. So just pay close attention to that. If you have questions about this or still don't understand, please reach out and let me know. Thank you.